Hey everyone, it's Elisa. Welcome back to Organizing Your Digital Life, Your Digital Self. This is episode two, and we're going to talk about managing your files. That was the number one choice that you guys picked when you registered uh, file management. So I want to talk just quickly about something really simple. This will be a quick one. And um, I want to start with asking you this question. How many of you have a desktop that looks like this? Or maybe a desktop that looks like this? And if your desktop looks like this, man, you really need my help. I don't even know where to start with that. But today I'm going to talk to you about organizing your files. And so the first piece of advice that I want to give you is that you should adopt a consistent method for files and folder naming. And this seems kind of tedious, but it really only takes a few you know, minutes each day if you sit down and start organizing. And then once you get organized, it's easy to put things where they belong and to name things. So when we're learning how to manage our files and folders, it's important that you develop a naming scheme for the kinds of files that you hope to create. And let me quickly show you what I mean by that. I'm going to open up a um, file folder on my desktop on my PC at home and you can see that this looks just like anyone's normal computer you can see that I'm looking at my hard drive and I have in my documents folder all of these folders and I like that they keep things organized so because I teach classes I have a folder for my classes and when I open up that oops, open that up there we go you can see that I then have a folder for each of the classes that I teach it's pretty easy to come up with a naming uh, system for this because I just use the uh, numbers and letters for the course so these are the different courses that I teach and if I go into one of these folders you'll see that I have folders for the semesters that I teach the courses so here we have the fall courses and then I have the spring courses and then I can keep anything that's relevant to that semester in those folders and that really helps keep things organized I also have a folder just for all of the assignments that I use in that class and so here you can see again that there's a very clear naming system going on here so all of the assignments are named the same with the course that it's used for and the assignment number and then when I change to something different like the essays I give them names as well and so this makes it really easy for me to know what is in each file and I don't have to sort of wonder oh, what did I do with that document that I just created so I come up with a scheme and then I try to follow that throughout and it really makes things a lot easier for me when I start to need things and look for things and it works the same way when I just look at my my ebooks even so each folder for the author and then inside the author's uh, folder book you'll find that if they have more than one book all of their books will be inside uh, that folder and so it makes it a lot easier for me to stay organized now you can do the same thing for those of you that have a Google Drive so if you're using your Google Drive you can see that here's my drive and in my drive I have folders for all of the important areas of my work life so classroom I do some uh, classroom stuff in here but I also have just my general not personal but just stuff just for me and then I have CTLE stuff e-courses stuff my English department uh, the Maricopa Millions and OER stuff that I have and then some committees that I am on and then travels as well and then I do have some documents that aren't filed properly and so I'm going to quickly show you how you can easily start to organize your folders now with Google Drive you can see that this is an OER steering team agenda and if I want to just quickly move this into a folder it's just drag and drop so I can just clicky quickly scroll up and drag it into that folder there okay another end of the year Maricopa Millions I can just scroll that right up and put it in my folder now as far as renaming things that's pretty easy too I'm not quite sure what this document is but I'm gonna go ahead and, and rename it so I can just go ahead and click up here and where it says rename and then I can give it a name that makes more sense to me I'm not going to rename this because I'm not quite sure what it is but what you would want to do is open up these files see what they are and then move them into the appropriate files if you have a bunch of files that are similar and need to go in the same folder like let's just say these two here I'm going to go hold, hold down my shift key and I'm going to select two of those and now I can just drag both of these up to my Maricopa Millions folder so you can drag and drop multiple documents and even if you open up um, a document so let's go open this up and see what it is 
And then at the very top of the uh, document, once it finishes loading, you'll see a folder. And what you can do there is click on that folder and then decide where you want to put it in there. So it's in your drive and you can move the item after you select which drive or which folder you want it to go into. And that helps you organize as well. Now on your PC again, let's bring that up and let's say that I have some files. I'm going to go ahead and go into my documents. I think I've done a pretty good job here with uh, organizing my files, but I'm going to go into, let's go into classes here. And so let's say that this cloud guide is not necessarily what I want it to be. So again, I can just right click on this and then choose to rename it and I'm going to spell it right. There we go. And I called it the same thing. I took the E out. And I can just rename there. And again, I can also drag and drop too. So I can take this file and drag it and drop it into any of these folders over here. So it helps me stay organized with all of the documents that I have in both my computer hard drive and on my um, Google Drive at work. And by keeping organized, it helps you stay efficient. All right, I hope that tip helps.